Hey everybody, Big Papa here for OnlyVape.com and I'm going to do a vi short video tonight on how to care for and clean your atomizers in your tanks for your Joy Ego T tank system that we sell here at OnlyVape. So with that said, let's get started. So basically you take your uh, e-cigarette and you take it apart, unscrew your atomizer, you pull your tank, Set it over there, and now we're going to clean this uh, atomizer. And what we're going to do to clean it is we're going to put our lips around the battery end of the atomizer, and we're going to do a long, hard blow, sort of like you're blowing up a balloon. And we're going to blow through the atomizer, and it's going to blow all the juice and stuff out of the wick end of your atomizer. The drips will come out, and that's how we clean it. That's how we clean the wick. And you'll want to do this... Uh, not only as regular maintenance, but uh, if you're switching juices for any reason, if you're trying another flavor or something like that, you're going to want to blow this juice out of this wick to make room for your new juice so it gets, you get the hit and the flavor of your new juice as soon as possible. So with that said, let's get her done. It's pretty simply this. We're going to get our lips around there and There we go. It's three or four drips. Well, I'm glad I quit smoking cigarettes. I could have never done that. Okay. And once that's blown out, and that's kind of cleaned up, then we're going to take, I usually take a Q-tip. I like to use a Q-tip. And I like to go on the inside of the atomizer and sort of wipe the ring in there around. Being careful to stay away from the wick that's done in there. We don't want to disturb the wick in the atomizer. So once that's done, then we consider this uh, atomizer clean and ready to go. That's simply that. So with that done, that's all there is to it. We'll place it back on, screw it on our battery. We're going to re reinsert our tank. Now at this time I'd like to stop here and, and reiterate how important it is we feel to, as you look down the barrel of your atomizer, to those two air slits that are in that back uh, shiny metal ring. We want to line those air slots up with the slots on our tank. As you can see, uh, it's got those two slots along the tank side, so the tank. We want to line them right up with them slits. So where them slits are now, I know where that's at, and I get it in there, and then boom, snap. You hear that snap? I push down on the tank, and I know it's seated or it's in the proper position because there's no lip around this ring. Of the atomizer, the top ring, it's flush. There's no edge there, no lip. So that's very important. So I want to spend a little time pointing that out. So with that said and done, we should be back vaping. So let's hit it and see what we got. Nice. Nice hit. Good. We're good to go. Ready to go. Well, with that part done, let's move on. Now let's discuss the cleaning of the tanks. Here's a tank, and I want to show that to you. That's an older tank. I've used it. Uh, actually, uh, it's time to be cleaned. I want to clean it. So how do we do that? It's simply this. We take the end cap off. Again, the fingernails pops the cap off. Then we're going to take and basically go to the sink and wash it out. It's as simple as that. Use hot water or warm water, as warm water as you can. And uh, you can put the plunger down in the sink if you like, so in case you drop your cap. But you want to wash your cap out, and, put, and then you want to flush this out, the tank out. You want to run water in here and blast it in there. And you want to you turn around and you can blast it in there or whatnot. And then, and then you can blow through it. And uh, you can redo it until you think you've got as much of this stuff it kind of gets up in this area that that's the stuff you want to watch for because if it makes it all the way to the end, which it would look like it was getting ready to do here, you can get some juice in your mouth, and that's not good. It doesn't taste well at all. As a matter of fact, you just don't want that to happen. So uh, that's basically how we clean a tank. And then uh, basically here's one that I've already cleaned, and I'll show that to you up against this one, and I think maybe you might see the difference. Or I'll try to lay them down side by side, and maybe you could get a look at that. 
like this or something. But it, really, what it what it what it speaks to is the fact that these tanks are reusable. You can wash and maintain these tanks and use them time and time and time again. And it, they're really not that expensive to replace. But uh, it, as simple as it is to clean them, you don't have to boil them, you don't have to mess around with them. It's a pretty easy fix. They're clean, ready to go. And with that done, I want to talk to you a little bit, if I could, about atomizers in the tanks. Here you have, and i try to hold them up, the cone-shaped uh, Type A tank that uh, comes with your kit that I was smoke or uh, vaping on tonight. Uh, and that's a, uh, just a blank at, uh, tank, excuse me, right next to it. I'll have to set them right there. And I'd like to introduce something new that we've got, and uh, maybe I'll hold them up as well. Uh, these are what they call type B tanks. We just got these in. They're B tanks, for B for bigger, if that's a good way to remember what they are. Uh, they are, that's what they are. They're exactly that. They're larger. They actually, the tank itself holds twice the amount of fluid that the type A tank, if I can get over here and focus there, uh, the type A tank holds twice as much as this one. And in comparison, maybe you can see that if I hold those up, that's the different size of the uh, looking at them. So it's just basically B's or A's uh, for your tanks and your uh, atomizers. And also the B atomizer is cylindrical. It's it's round and big. There's no cone. There's no cone shape to it. It's just straight up and down. So, from a cosmetic standpoint, some people might prefer the A's as opposed to the B's. But I preferably prefer the B's uh, because they just simply hold more juice. Uh, enough said. It's just a matter of pref and you can check them out on our site. They're all in our accessories that we carry for all our uh, e-cigarettes. So, with that, I guess that's about it. Oh, I would also like to say uh, and thank a uh, special friend, Monica, who uh, done a video for us and introduced the Ego T system. It's worked for her, and uh, we really appreciate her doing that for us. She did a fine job. And you know, until I see you again, it's a, it's a Big Papa from OnlyVape.com. No more cigarettes. Vape only, baby.